The British Antarctic Survey is to pull all staff out of its Space Age Holly base in March for safety reasons. The highly unusual move is necessary because the Brunt Ice Shelf on which the research station sits has developed a big new crack. Bass officials say neither staff nor the base are in any immediate danger but believe it would be prudent to withdraw while the situation is assessed. The plan would be to go back once the Antarctic winter is over, in November. Holly Station comprises a series of high pods that are mounted on hydraulic legs and skis so that they can be moved periodically further inland, to get away from the shelf edge where icebergs are kept into the ocean. First of all, let me tell you, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, then subscribe it by going here and clicking subscribe button, for become first to get all trending latest technology related stuffs always for free. Unpredictable situation BAS is in the process of conducting such a move right now. The relocation is all but complete, with the last pod currently in the final stage of being shifted 23 kilometers to the new site. The move was necessitated by a chasm that had opened up in the shelf and which threatened to cut off Holly. But this huge fissure to the west of the station is not the cause of the temporary closure. Rather, it is another break in the ice some 17 kilometers to the north and east of the new base position. It has been dubbed the Halloween Crack because it was discovered on October 31st. Changes to the ice, particularly the growth of a new crack, presents a complex glaciological picture that means that bass scientists are unable to predict with certainty what will happen to the ice shelf during the forthcoming Antarctic winter, the research organization said in a statement. As a precautionary measure, BAS will remove its people before the Antarctic winter begins. The organization says it does not believe the ice shelf is about to experience a major calving event, but make the point that if something were to happen it would be very difficult to react in the depths of an Antarctic winter. What we've decided is that given the unpredictability, combined with our inability to do anything about it in winter, no aircraft in the continent, it's dark, it's very cold, all those kinds of issues, then actually the prudent thing to do is withdraw our staff close the station down in a controlled manner and then go back in next summer, Bass Director of Operations Captain Tim Stockings told BBC News. Together with the Rothera base on the Antarctic Peninsula, Holly spearheads the UK presence, and scientific activity, on the White Continent. Holly gathers important weather and climate data, and it played a critical role in the research that identified the ozone hole in 1985. In recent years, Holly has also become a major center for studying solar activity and the impacts it can have on Earth. This is most evident in the beautiful auroras that form over the base, the consequence of particles from the sun crashing into air molecules high in the atmosphere. Flying the flag just under 20 permanent staff reside at Holly. In winter, they would watch over experiments. Bass now has to decide if any of those experiments can be left running autonomously or whether it is better to just shut everything down. Scientists have placed sensors on either side of the more than 40 km long Halloween crack so that they can monitor its status. Obviously, we'll seek to get out of those whatever we can, we'll also be using satellite imagery over the winter as well. Then, next season we'll send a team in to reopen the station, verify the measurements from our instruments and take the situation from there, explained Captain Stockings. But I should say, we are committed to our presence in that part of the British Antarctic Territory and to the science we do there. Absolutely. We've spent a long time finding the new site for Holly 6 and of itself this site isn't directly at risk, it's just the unpredictability of the whole area.